Hey, what's up folks? This is Gray here, and today we're going to look at the Arkfeld EDC light. Uh, if you folks are, you know, like your flashlights and whatnot, this is quite the intriguing light. Uh, we're going to get a little close-up personal with this light. Uh, we're going to look at some of the specifications uh, and also do some night shots to see how this performs outdoors in the evening. Uh, but all in all, one thing that you're going to notice about this flashlight is it's quite different than your normal EDC flashlights. If you look at that there, that is going to be the form factor there. Very slim, very compact, and again, uh, you're going to get 1,000 lumens out of that. So, well, before we get into all the specifications and stuff like that, what I want to do is do a close-up view of this light and kind of go over some of the specifications on it because that's what's, what you guys are really here for other than to hear me jabber on about the specifications uh, and break that down. But I know some of you folks out there want to hear that information. So, let's move into the close-up of this light. Uh, and then uh, we'll come back to me and then we'll bounce to the night shot uh, and then we'll bounce back to me and wrap this up. All right, hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and take a look, close look at this Olight Arkfeld. As you can see here, there's the branding there and whatnot. Uh, and up here it also has the temperature settings, uh, basically 5700 Kelvin to 6700 Kelvin. It kind of gives you the warmth of the light. Uh, to give you an idea with that, I want you to look at that profile there, which is which really impressive to me is the profile itself. Uh, it's very flat. Uh, it's not too big and it's not too small, if that makes any sense, right? Uh, it fits well into the pocket because of this form factor, the way it footprints or imprints into your pocket. So also the clip here is a very nice clip. And uh, here's one thing about the clip that I like. It's not too tight and it's not too loose. So when you put it in there, you're not going to lose your light. Also, the button up here uh, kind of sits pretty flat on there. I don't know if you can see that from that aspect. But basically, if you put this in your pocket and you're worried about things getting pushed on it, uh, it's it's pretty uh, flush with the button right there. So I like that as well. Uh, on the front of it here, you have your light. And then on this side, you have your laser. Uh, kind of gives you that information there as well. Uh, all in all, and this is your charging port, and we'll go over more of that here in a few. Uh, and don't forget, folks, we're going to be doing some night shots of this light uh, but I want to show you how easy the operation is. So let's get into that. All right, so when it comes to the operation of this light, this is very simple. And I'm going to go over what these bars here mean as well, uh, because this is going to inclinate to you uh, and give you the information you need in regards to how charged it is, be it from low to fully charged or, you know, from zero to 100, basically. Uh, but let's get into the operation. The operation of this light is pretty good. If you notice there, this has some raised things on here so that you can bounce between the light and the laser. Uh, it feels very good. I like the way it feels on the fingers. It's not too much. It's not overdone. It's not sharp. Uh, so I do like that aspect as well. Uh, to turn this thing on, you're just going to press the button once. And you can see here, you'll see the laser pop up. Uh, and there's a laser. Now, for the laser itself, uh, it's nice to have it in the light for whatever reasons that you may find useful for it. Uh, me personally, I'm, maybe if I'm trying to point out something in the dark to someone or give someone an inclination of something somewhere, I would use that. Uh, other than that, I would probably, uh, you know, uh, mess with my cat or something like that and, uh, you know, put it on the ground and play with the cat. <laughs> uh, but that's just for fun, folks. Uh, in general, uh, you may have other purposes. If you're a teacher or educator or whatnot, you can use this as a pointer uh, in your classroom to point to certain types of things. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just again to turn it off, you're just going to press that once down right there. OK, now we're going to switch over to the light. And if you notice, whenever I'm doing anything, you'll see this come on. Uh, so when I turn this on, you're going to see that it's fully charged. So when I go turn on that moonlight mode, you can see those lights there. That means it's fully charged down here to go red uh, and tell you it needs to be charged. So this is your moonlight mode. And my apologies for the changing in the light on the screen. Uh, but that is just, you know, making a video. So this is the moonlight mode. And then when you want to cycle through these modes, it's really easy. Basically, you're just going to press and hold. That's going to take it to the next setting. And then here we're going to move to the next setting. And then, of course, that's going to be your pretty much your high mode. And then if you double click, it's going to take you into a turbo mode, which is the brightest setting that they have, uh, which is your 1,000 lumens. Uh, now, this will get a little bit warm here, and your lumens will start to decrease over time after a few minutes. But we'll go over all the specs uh, specifically when we pan back to me. Uh, and then, of course, there's a strobe mode. I will do that in the night shot. Let me go ahead and drop this down to moonlight mode. We'll go ahead and do that in the night shot and whatnot, and uh, just be aware for you folks that are uh, susceptible to epilep uh, epilepsy and whatnot, uh, I will put a warning on the screen when I go into the strobe mode. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn this off again. Turn it off just like, whoops, you just turn it off, just tap it to turn it off. Now, here's one thing about 
when you turn it off. So if you have it in whatever, if you have it in moonlight, uh, low, medium, high, turbo, whatever that you have this thing set on, uh, I don't know if it works for turbo, but I know it works for low, medium, and high, or moonlight as I like to call it. Uh, it remembers. So if I turn it back on, it's going to remember that I left it there. So now if I turn this thing down to moonlight mode, uh, and then I turn it off there, when I go to do this again, you're going to see that it's still in that same setting. So I like that fact that it has that memory in there as well. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. Uh, I guess I got to push the button, get it together, Gray. <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, uh, very slim. Uh, compare this to other lights out in the market. Uh, let me go grab one and uh, show you uh, the difference in sizes and how this to me could be a game changer in regards to having a pocket light uh, in your, you know, your top pocket or somewhere where it gets a little bit uncomfortable having certain types of light with this amount of power to it. Okay, so I wanted to kind of show you, this is the Olight uh, Warrior 2 Mini uh, versus the Arcfeld so that you guys can kind of see the difference in the size and whatnot. Uh, it's the closest light that I could find to something like this. Now, here's the main thing is that you're going to look at that profile there. Um, as you can see, it's funny, the magnets are trying to push away from each other. Um, here, I'll spread them apart a little bit. Anyways, as you can see that footprint, that this is what's going to be in your pocket. So most folks are traditionally going to keep a round flashlight in their pocket. And if you've ever had these, if you're a person who's into EDC itself, uh, you know how sometimes this can get in the way and can be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, I do really favor this uh, format, this flat format, in the amount of power that this thing can provide, uh, which I find truly intriguing, uh, to say the least. And uh, they both have, like I said, the magnetic charging and whatnot, uh, but the footprint itself uh, is quite intriguing. And uh, like I said, for you folks that are looking for something that's going to be very small uh, and slim, uh, especially uh, some of the ladies out there who use an EDC format, when you look at this and you put this in your pocket, because uh, you guys are unfortunate, a lot of your manufacturers make your pants extremely tight, uh, this is going to fit a lot smoother in those pockets, uh, be it depending on the type of pants that you wear, if it's jeans or if it's like more of the stretch pants and whatnot, uh, this might work a lot better for you. And again, the operation is very simple. Uh, so that just kind of gives you an idea of the difference between a round light uh, and this kind of new flat light. Like I said, this here is probably a little over a half inch in thickness versus, you know, you have like roughly over an inch here in the thickness of this one here. And I know it's a little bit kind of complicated when you're looking at videos to see the difference there, but it's there is a huge difference. Uh, also the weight difference as well, because this has a battery inside of it uh, versus this is a built-in battery uh, as well. So just to kind of give you an idea of the comparison of the two lights, and I'm pretty sure there's some other versions that I could use, but this is the, the quick, the fastest one that I found. All right, so let's look at the way you charge this. Now, you're always going to see the aspect of uh, the magnetic aspect here. Um, I do have this plugged into a power brick uh, so that you can see that this light is green right here. Uh, that means it's receiving power. So that's always a nice aspect to Olight's charging. Uh, I get, you know, it is proprietary, the MCC one amp, uh, and it's kind of cool to see that aspect. Uh, and, uh, like I said, it just, it's really easy to charge these things, uh, via USB. Now I'm going to go ahead and add power to this so that you guys can see how this works. All right. See how it's red there. That means that this is charging here. Uh, if it's red, that means it's not fully charged. Now this will go green once it's fully charged. Uh, I've always liked that aspect of, uh, so it's just easy that you can look down really quick and say, okay, it's still charging. And when it's green, it's fully charged. Uh, so like I said, a very simple operation when it comes to the charging. Like I said, easy peasy, boom, as you can see there. Uh, and like I said, it goes green uh, if this was fully charged. So when you put it to the light to charge, uh, you're gonna see that red light there, uh, but very simple. Very simple. You can use this in your car, uh, anywhere that you have a USB type connection, uh, and charge it. Now, you can charge this several different ways. Uh, I think it's uh, rated at 0.5 amps, 1 amp, and 2 amps uh, for some of the people that want to do some quick charging and whatnot. Uh, you always want to be mindful of the batteries inside here because you don't want to overpower them and destroy the batteries that are inside here, uh, especially if you're spending money on you know things like this. All right, folks, so that's kind of a close-up look of the Arkfeld light and some of its operations and whatnot. And don't forget, we'll do some night shots 
uh, of that as well. And uh, we'll go over here the specifications and whatnot. Some of the folks are going to ask, what is the cost of this uh, and uh, whatnot? Right now, Olight is having a sale. Uh, that's when usually they send us these lights for, for you folks to kind of uh, check out as well as myself. I've had it for a couple of weeks, and I'll tell you one thing. The main difference between the two uh, is definitely the heft. Uh, I, I usually use something like this that's in a black format. Uh, and you know with the battery and whatnot and it's nice that you can have multiple batteries to throw in there uh, In case one goes bad or whatnot But what I really do like about this is after using it for a couple of weeks and doing my biking and hiking and all that stuff like that I've noticed that uh, it does feel a lot better uh, and it's it charges relatively quickly uh, I think it uses the MCC 3 I know the one the charger I was using was one of their MCC 1 MCC 1 amps but it does have an MCC 3 2 amp that you can use for this when I go over the specs I'll kind of touch on that as well but really comfortable and for you ladies out there I'm telling you uh for if you're wearing you know because unfortunately women's cl uh clothing when it comes to their pants and whatnot uh for you ladies out there that like EDC uh it's going to be a lot more comfortable for something like this in your pocket anyways onto the pricing uh like I said they're having a sale I think this is currently 25 percent off uh, and it's about $67.49. But don't forget, folks, I do have an affiliate link down below. I guess shameless plug, right? Uh, but down below, which gives you an additional 10%. So then I'm going to give you 35%. Now, this doesn't just uh, acquaint to specifically this thing here. Uh, if you see something else on their site and you happen to use the affiliate code, like I see some of the other things that they have on their site. And I'll throw it up here on the screen so that you guys can see it as well. Uh, but they have a bunch of different things that are up to about 40% off. So then you add my discount on there, you get 50% off. So you can save some big bucks there if you're looking for something, let's say, like an O-Lantern or, you know, Balder Mini or whatnot from what I see on their site. Um, anyways, uh, retail price normally is going to be $89.99. So after the sale ends, this thing is going to jump to about $90. Bucks. So if you can get it for under, you know, roughly $50, $55 with all the discounts and stuff like that, that's the time to save. Uh, moving on from that, we're going to look at... The specs, which I have here in my notes, and uh, we'll go over some of that. You know what I mean? Uh, basically, the max output is 1,000 lumens, of course, uh, which we have discussed. Uh, now, on moonlight mode, you'll get about eight days out of that thing. Let's say if you're just stuck in a certain spot and you just want some illumination in your tent, if you're out wherever it may be, you can get eight days in one of its lowest settings, which is what most people call moonlight mode. The max throw on the light is 101 meters, a.k.a. 303 feet, roughly. Uh, it has a built-in 10... Uh, 1,050 milliamp lithium polymer battery. Um, uh, they've had drop tested this uh, to one meter, which is about three feet with no issues. I've only dropped it once. Uh, I didn't even get a scratch on it, which was surprisingly. But, you know, I was doing something under the vehicle because you can use this as a magnetic, uh, since it has a magnet on the back and I stick it on something and I ha happen to hit it with my hat uh, when I was doing some work on the vehicle. And uh, it bounced on the concrete, no issues. Uh, and it does have an IPX7 setting as well, or set, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, water resistance, you know, the uh, IPX7 is basically, you know, what rain, you know, slight misting and stuff like that. I wouldn't take this diving. Uh, that would probably create an issue. Uh, some of the brighter levels are only going to last you about four minutes. If you're trying to push a thousand lumens, you're probably going to get four, maybe five minutes out of that. Uh, but then when you drop it down to about 300 lumens, which is extremely bright, folks, uh, you'll still get about anywhere from 110 to roughly 126 minutes out of that. Uh, and then, like I said, you can go down lower and lower, uh, down to 60 lumens and get about 50 hours. Uh, 15 lumens uh, <laughs> uh, will get you about 41 hours. And then I said, uh, like I said, level 5, which is your moonlight, will get you about 8 days, which is 1 lumen. Uh, and like I said, you have your strobe option there, but we'll do that when we jump into the night section for that. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to go over here for you in regards to uh, specs. Uh, let me look here real fast if there's anything else that I wanted to discuss on this. Oh, uh, in regards to colors, I did want to discuss that. So the one I have is black, which I wish I would have got the desert tan or the OD green. Uh, but some of the, some of the I wish, uh, matter of fact, I'll throw that up on the screen too so you guys can see the color uh, patterns. Because as I look at it, I, I do like the desert tan and the OD green. It would be a hard, I might, have, I might have to buy two of them just because of the fact that I like those two colors depending on what I'm doing and what time of the season it is. But being in Florida with so much sand, I usually like a lot of the desert tan. So you have also a blue and the black that I have in regards to colors uh, with that. Um, looking here to see if there's anything else I want to go to. I did talk to you about uh, the waterproofing. Uh, in regards to when I was talking about the Kelvin uh, or the uh, the way the lights, uh, the warmth of a light, right? So... When you go up to the higher Kelvins, you have more of a cool, crisp white light. 
Uh, and then on the lower side of things, when you go into your like your moonlights or your low modes and whatnot, it's more of a natural balance kind of light. You know what I mean? Like that warm light. Uh, but it's still bright enough to see what you're doing. Power goes out. You need to go check your uh, utility box, so on and so forth. You know, find your generator uh, and get things moving. Uh, definitely a little handy light. But anyways, folks, I know what you guys are waiting for. You guys are waiting for the night shot. So let's roll into that and then we'll come back to me for the wrap up. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Arkfeld uh, at night and kind of uh, see how the different settings look. And uh, let's go ahead and turn her on. And uh, that's the laser. Uh, I don't know if how many people would use a laser in general, but I don't know if you could point it all up into the trees up there. I don't know if you see it up there in the trees, which is about 40 feet away. So pretty solid, but let's go to the light. So this is the light here. And as you can see, this is on the low setting. Kind of pan across there, try to get the tree way up there, uh, but you can't see very much. So let's go ahead and go to medium. So that's the medium setting there, a lot more brighter. You can see a lot more here in the garden. Not not a bad little light, to be honest with you. Uh, and again, like I said, I like the size and the way it fits in the pocket. And that's the tree that I'm talking about up there. So let's go ahead and move it to the high setting which is right there. And remember folks, this is just a little compact light in your pocket. That is not bad at all. And guess what? We still have that turbo mode. There's a tree way up there. You can sail up into that tree. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this right with the turbo mode. Boom. That's even more light. Look at that. You can pretty much see everything. I'm pretty sure my neighbors aren't happy about this, but it is what it is, right? But not bad at all. This, I mean, look at the much light it's putting up on that tree. So if you're looking for something up there, no problem at all. And again, man, this light, this thing is pretty, pretty compact. Very handy. Just move that around like that, just so you guys can see. And of course, uh, it does have a strobe. So if you're watching this, uh, please uh, either skip past this or whatnot. I'll put a warning on the screen. Uh, just because some people, you know, have uh, epilepsy and whatnot, and I don't want anybody to get hurt. So again, warning, uh, there's going to be a strobe effect now, okay? So, that's the strobe effect there. But yeah, all in all, not a bad light. Back to low. All right, folks, so that's going to wrap up this video uh, in regards to you see the night shots, you saw the functions, you got some specifications. Hopefully I covered enough for you uh, to help you make an informed decision if you decide to go with a light like this for your EDC uh, or your everyday carry, as we like to call it. Uh, if you did get any value out of this, I would truly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. There's all kinds of content here on my channel uh, from gardening, long-term food storage. Uh, we do some commentary. We do interviews. Uh, we have a lot of fun, folks. Uh, and I would employ you to hang out with us in the great community. Uh, we have lots of fun. Other than that, uh, if you use a different type of light, uh, and what type of light do you use for EDC, if you could drop that down in the comments for me, uh, I would like to see what you know some of my viewers and others out there use for their everyday carry in regards to having light uh, on their persons. And I don't mean like in your bag or whatnot, like something you actually carry on your persons and whatnot. I'm, I'm really looking to see what style of lights people carry, how much power they have, how many lumens they have, how often they've been using it, uh, if they've had it for years, is it comfortable to wear, stuff like that. I'd love to get that feedback from you, the viewers. Uh, if you can please do me that favor and drop that down in the comments, I would truly appreciate that. Other than that, folks, remember, be safe out there and you are not alone. This is Green Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys on the rebound. God bless.